Now, words and I are not good friends. A painter trying to use words is like a child trying to walk. Colors and shapes are more definite to me than words. And I am often amazed to hear words telling me what I've painted. <laughs> no one else knows how my paintings happen. But that's why I'm here. One day I had an exhibition of my paintings in my room, just for myself. <laughs> and I looked and I said, huh, I did that for Beemont. I did that for my mother. I did that for, for Chase. There wasn't one painting there to please me. And I said, well, that's pretty stupid to not even paint the way you want to. I had some ideas in my head, and I said, I am going to start over. And, and I'm not going to use any color. I'm just going to use charcoal and black paint until I've said everything I can. And then maybe I'll use a little color. Well, <laughs> have you ever had so much to say that the whole side of a wall wouldn't be big enough to put it on? And you sit down and you try and put it on a little piece of charcoal paper? Oh, I worked so hard. I worked until I thought my head would come off on top. And then I'd look and I'd laugh. <laughs> I wondered if I wasn't a raving lunatic. Well, finally, I gathered up a bunch of these drawings and I sent them to my friend Anita. And she took them to Alfred Stieglitz. And he said, at last, a woman on paper. But nobody really looks at a flower. And I said, OK, I'm going to paint them. But I'm going to paint them big, so big that even busy New Yorkers will stop and look at my flowers. Well, they did. Pretty soon, all you could hear talk of was Georgia O'Keeffe and her sexy flowers. <laughs> I hate flowers. I only paint them because they're cheaper than models and they don't move. <laughs> well, I wanted to paint the desert and I didn't know how. The crosses were a way of painting the desert. Well, I got back and the critics said, George O'Keefe went out west and found religion. <laughs> Whenever I walked, I would pick up flowers, shells, bits of wood, rocks. So it was only natural when I started walking in the desert, I'd start picking up these bones. Bones bleached by the, the sun and, and polished by the, the wind and the rain and the sand. I thought they were beautiful. They fascinated me. They're far lively than the animals themselves walking around, swishing their tails. So pretty soon I had this whole big pile of bones. And when it came time to come home, I couldn't think of anything to take but a barrel of bones. <laughs> I got medals and doctorates from 14 colleges, and I got medals from two presidents, and I was on the enemies list of a third. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't have any great talent. It was my sister Anita who had the talent, but she was afraid to put her imagination down on paper. It takes a lot of courage to paint and a lot of very, very hard work. I did all of these paintings just to show how I felt about the wonder of the world, the beauty of the light. <laughs>